this product demo is going to take you on a journey through the world's most trusted payment engine. This 24-hour mobile-friendly platform will give you access to tighter pricing and speed up the process of buying and selling currency whenever and wherever you want, so you stay in control of your business. The toolbar to the left of the screen is the command center. After you've logged in, the screen will default to the dashboard, where you can either make a payment, add beneficiaries, or convert currency. So let's start by showing you how to convert the currency and fix a rate. Simply click Convert and Pay on the left. Now you'll see you'll need to select which currency you wish to sell, the currency you want to pay in, for example sterling. Now select the currency you need to send out, and the volume you wish to buy or sell. Note it will default to the sell amount. So if you need to pay an invoice, all you need to do is type in how much you need to send out. Or if you're looking to sell an amount of currency back into your base currency, select Sell and type in how much you will be sending us. Now select the day you would like the conversion or settlement to take place. Whether that's next day or future date, make sure you choose a date in which you can get the funds into our bank accounts so your conversion is processed seamlessly. Once you're happy with all the information, click Get a Quote. You'll then get a real-time quote, which will tell you how much your selected amount of currency is going to cost you, the exchange rate, and the mid-market rate. The platform shows you these prices so you know how competitive the rate is, and see the savings you make on every conversion you do, giving you full transparency, and more importantly, consistency of your rates. You have 20 seconds to accept the rate, but if you exceed those 20 seconds, you still have a chance to re-quote. When you want to go ahead with a quote, Tick the box to tell us you're happy and click Convert. Now you can see the exchange rate is fixed, so it doesn't matter where the market moves from this point as this is the rate you'll be converting at. Make sure you pay attention to the settlement date as this is when you need to send the sold funds. However, you can set up the beneficiary and payment now or later. All you need to do is tell us where you want the bought funds to go to. If it is going to a supplier or beneficiary you have sent funds to before, then you can select Pay Now. If you need to add the beneficiary, select Pay Later, where you can later go into unallocated funds to then send bought funds out. On the next screen, the currency and the amount you have bought will be pre-populated. If you're looking to make more than one onward payment, then you can also change the figure in the amount field. Next, select the beneficiary you want the funds to be sent to. The drop-down menu will list all the bank accounts saved in that currency. You just need to select and confirm your chosen beneficiary. Once you've added in the destination account, you'll see where the funds are going to. Select if you are the payer and check the details from the pre-saved account. And then choose a reason for making this payment. For example, invoices. And add a payment reference. For example, invoice number. Select Make Payment. Then you're taken to the review screen where you can expand each of the sections to view the details. If you need to make any changes, simply select Edit to return to the previous screen. If you are happy, click Confirm. After confirming, you'll be taken to a confirmation page showing what currency you've sent. If you have later payments to send at a later date, it will verify the outstanding payment and due date. Once the sold funds have arrived, your bought funds will be sent and you will receive a payment confirmation email. At a later date, when you want to send the outstanding funds, click on Allocated Funds in the grey toolbar on the left. Here, you'll find a list of holding balances of funds you've yet to send out. Go to the Action column and click Make Payment, where you'll be able to make a new payment. Note you can still make multiple payments per transactions. Once you've allocated all outstanding funds, they will no longer appear on the list. Another important area in the toolbar is Beneficiaries, where you'll find a list of all destination bank accounts you can pay, edit, or delete. You can also add in new information to create a new beneficiary bank account. To create a new beneficiary, click Add Beneficiary. You'll then be asked to complete information relevant to the currency and country you are sending funds to. The platform harnesses bank validation software that authenticates account numbers, SWIFT codes and IBANs you have entered to ensure all beneficiary information is valid. If there are any mistakes, a warning message will appear to inform you which information is invalid. Once correct, 
The new beneficiary will pre-populate on the list of destination bank accounts. Finally, the search field at the bottom of the toolbar provides an overview of every conversion that has been created and all your transaction history, a helpful feature for month-end accounts and auditing procedures. You can search by payment or conversion using the tabs on the page. Just select a date range to view a list of transactions. You can also look at each individual transaction by clicking on it. Select Advanced View to look at additional or more specific information. For example, if you want to look at every time you purchased euros in sterling in the last year. You have reached the end of the demo. Thanks for listening and we hope it's been useful. If you have any further questions, please get in touch.